So how many of you guys have gone on a run by the past 10 days? Nobody. <laughs> One. Okay, awesome. Actually, um, according to a study by Lombroth University, 80% of people have the marathon genes, which means 80% of us here can finish uh, 42.6 miles of marathon after sufficient training. Um, I have my running shoes with me today, which represents many things in the running culture. Um, it's in, I think it's important for people to know that running is not just a sport, but actually is a lifestyle. Um, I have started running since many years ago. I joined the track and field team in, in high school, and I've been running since then. Running has many benefits, both physically and emotionally. It makes you get fit, get in shape, have better body image of yourself, and also gain self-confidence. Um, running shoes are particularly iconic and symbolic for the running culture because it can represent um, a lifestyle and personality for every unique runner, and it really distinguish running from other activities. Um, running shoes make the runners feel special, but yet capable of finishing each race with, with pride and confidence. Um, the benefits of running include getting in shape, better heart, better heart, heart conditions, better respiratory conditions, better um, bone conditions, and you know what? It can actually make you live longer. According to a study by scientists in USC, people who run 20 miles per week have a 20% lower rate of mortality. That's why you should run, you can live longer. <laughs> And as a runner, I identify myself a part of the running culture. But I wasn't always like this. I used to think running was scary and horrible and being terrified of the idea of running. But it has all changed things since I have joined the running team, the track team in high school. Um, running shoes was first made in the 1920s by leather and rubber sole. And the, the, the shoemakers try to make the mass of the running shoes under 10 pounds so runners can make more sufficient races. But now they are mostly made of foam and light fabric so the runners can perform better on the track. And um, when I was younger and didn't start running, I was um, kind of chubby with short hair and I didn't really have much self-confidence. Um, all the way until I was in high school and joined the team and there's just many teammates and everyone's just helping out each other and encourage each other to put effort in running so we can all get better together and hard work does pay off. After a few years of training in high school, I started attending invitational races and actually winning medals. Um, first, I have talked about how I identify myself as a part of running culture, as a runner, and secondly, I have um, explained the history of running shoes. And lastly, I have explained how there are many benefits from, from running that you can have. And I'm going to conclude my speech with a speech, um, with, with a quote by Joanne Samuelson, a really famous marathon runner and, uh, and the first woman Olympian to complete the marathon race. She said, as every runner knows, running is about more than just putting one foot in front of the other. It is, <coughs> it is, it is about our lifestyle and how we are. And I cannot agree more with this quote because as a runner, I really feel like having my running shoes with me at all times really ensures me to have the confidence and have the material to keep running and keep being who I am. Lastly, I want to quote my previous track team coach as um, he said, our sport is the punishment of your sport. According to the other um, very awesome football player, um, his coach would pun punish them by being late for practice. But for us, regardless how early or how late we are, we have to run. And I think that's that's a little crucial at first, but you'll get used to it. And after you see the result and you see how you have really grown out of yourself as a person, you're, you're gonna 
you're really enjoying running and the running culture.